following video covers the installation of the PLP compression dead end for ACCC conductors. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Be sure to read and completely understand the application procedure supplied with the product before installing it. The compression dead end assembly includes an aluminum outer compression sleeve, steel eye, inner compression sleeve, collet housing, collet, and oxide inhibitor. Required tools include compression press with appropriately sized dies, conductor cutter and strand removal tool, conductor wire brush, measuring tape, and utility knife. Begin by sliding the tapered end of the inner sleeve down over the conductor about three feet. Slide the outer sleeve over the conductor until the pad is approximately three feet from the cut end of the conductor. Measure and mark the conductor's core length from the end of the conductor according to the exposed core length column in the provided table. Cut the outer strands of the mark to expose the composite core. Take care not to cut or damage the core and ensure the end is uncrushed. Failure to follow these instructions could result in a poor connection. Wipe the outer surface of the core clean and free of oil with a clean cloth. Use the provided 220 mesh sanding paper to rub the core lightly until it becomes white, then re-wipe the core with a clean cloth. Slide the collet housing with wrench flats facing the conductor onto the core. Install the collet with the narrow end towards the housing onto the core. Quarter inch of the core must be exposed through the back end of the collet. Ensure that the rubber O-ring is installed onto the dead end eye, then install it hand tight. Use a torque wrench to fully tighten the steel eye onto the collet housing to a minimum of 85 foot-pounds. Wire brush the aluminum strands of the section of conductor that will be covered by the compression hardware. Apply the supplied oxide inhibitor along the length of the wire brushed aluminum strands. Slide the aluminum outer sleeve towards the steel eye, lining up the edge of the pad with the mark on the steel eye. If no mark is present, offset the aluminum tube 1.6 inches as shown. Wire brush and apply oxide inhibitor to the outer diameter of the inner aluminum sleeve. Slide the inner aluminum sleeve onto the outer sleeve so that one inch of the inner sleeve is sticking out or it is stopped by the indent. With the outer sleeve and inner sleeve in place, compress the outer sleeve beginning at the opposite end of the eye. Make sure the correct die size is being used. Slightly overlap the crimps to ensure complete compression. Compress all the way to the first stop mark. Compress the area marked on the outer aluminum tube close to the eye, starting at the mark further from the eye. Compress until the O-ring is flush with the pad. Installation of the compression dead end for ACCC conductor is now complete. All safety guidelines set forth in the appropriate application procedure for this product must be reviewed and followed prior to installing this product. The installation shown is intended to illustrate the application method of the product only. It is not intended to supersede any standard utility safety guidelines and practices or use of required protective equipment.